Alright, so one more video today. Well, it's tomorrow actually, but whatever. Uh, so in my video on agorism, I, I was talking about Bitcoin and currency, and it reminded me of something uh, while I was on spring break. I uh, was, when I wasn't in a coma, I was reading a couple new books. I was also reading um, Benjamin Tucker's uh, Instead of a Book by a man too busy to write one. Uh, because, you know, as a mutualist, Instead of a Book is like my Bible, you know. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Um, and I was, and I read something interesting there. Uh, let me, basically what we have is he's, uh, talking about currency here. And he's cr criticizing someone, I assume basis is the pseudonym of this person. Uh, and so he's talking about, uh, well, let me put this in a bit of context. Uh, agorists, for example, that's what I was talking about earlier, such as uh, Brad Spangler, uh, tend to advocate a gold and silver, or even just gold standard, uh, for currency, right? And so that would be the standard for currency. Uh, Another alternative would be Bitcoin, which, as I said, I think is inspired somewhat by agorism. That's more of a fiat currency. It's not the state saying, uh, giving the fiat, it's the market, but it's still a fiat currency, I think. But, and then there are also several forms of labor notes, and another, uh, one is this one that I'm about to read uh, by Benjamin, that Benjamin Tucker seems to have at least thought was interesting. Uh, so again, he's criticizing someone who goes by the pseudonym Basin. Uh, some persons seem to think that Josiah Warren based his notes on corn. Nothing of the kind. Warren simply took corn as a standard, but made labor and all its products his basis. His labor notes were rarely redeemed in corn. If he had made corn his exclusive basis, there would be no distinction in principle between him and the speci special men. Perhaps the central point in his monetary theory was his denial of the idea that any one product of labor can properly be made the only basis of money. To quote him in this connection at all is the highest height of presumption on the part of basis. A charge of his system, which recognized cost as the only ground of price, even contemplated a promise to pay anything for value received, he would deem the climax of insult to his memory. Basis, in donning the garments of Warren to defend his, the fraud, has stolen the library of heaven to serve the devil in. Basis is wrong, too, in thinking that land is not a good basis for currency. True, unimproved vacant land, not having properly a market value, cannot properly give value to anything that represents it. But permanent improvements on land, which should have a market value and carry with them a title to possession, are an excellent basis for currency. It is not the raw material of any product that fits it for a basis, but the labor that has been expended in shaping the material. End quote. So, he's distinguishing between the standard and a basis, first of all. He's distinguishing between the standard of a currency and the basis of a currency. And when he's talking about Josiah Warren's um, corn version of labor currency, uh, he's saying that corn was the standard, but labor was the basis. But the thing that I uh, thought was interesting was what came later, which was that, and I'll put a link down below, this is from a chapter called Apex or Basis from In 
to have a book. Uh, it's it's talking. It's in the section called. Where's the section? In the section called Money and Interest, Part Two, and it's the tenth section in Part Two called Apex or Basis. So he's saying that uh, labor. What he's saying that labor was the basis for Warren's currency. But he's saying that land that has been mixed with labor uh, is a good basis for currency. Now, I'm not 100% sure I understand that. I mean, first of all, I don't understand what his argument is that that would be a good basis for currency. I mean, and I've read the whole section, and I can't figure it out, and I've even Googled it, and uh, I can't, that doesn't seem to be a very widely known sec, uh, part, because I can't find anybody who references that part of the, uh, of the chapter, and it's towards the end of the chapter, but still. So, I can't understand what his art, what, why he thinks that land that has been mixed with labor would be a good basis rather than standard for currency, and uh, when labor itself was the basis for Warren's currency, and B, um, how that would work, how would land being the basis for a currency work. Um, I don't understand those, and if anybody in my audience has a fair knowledge of Benjamin Tucker, or has been inspired by Benjamin Tucker, uh, Invincible Numinous, I'm looking at you, for example, uh, you know, I please help me understand this. I'm, Benjamin Tucker isn't necessarily my strong suit, and I'm not uh, understanding this. So, yeah, ju just another video uh, talking about uh, Benjamin Tucker's idea on the basis of a currency. Uh, again, see ya.